Learn XDD. Hello soldiers, and welcome to my tropical paradise. Today I'm going to show you guys how to free yourself from the clutches of Windows and Microsoft. First order of business, make sure you got a USB stick with at least a few gigabytes of storage on it. Not only that, but back up any important data you have on the stick as you're going to format it for this installation. Secondly, get yourself Belina Etcher. It's an application used to create bootable USB drives. Now head on over to Linux Mint's official website and snag yourself an ISO file. If you're running a reasonably normal computer, you're gonna be just fine with the Cinnamon version. Now, open Belina Etcher and insert your ISO file, your desired USB drive, and flash it. After this, you're going to have to find a way to get to your boot menu. In order to get you to, uh, to your boot menu, you restart your computer, you press a certain button like F12, F11, Escape, or Delete before you boot into Windows. If you did it correctly, you should get a menu that shows all of your bootable drives including the USB. Click on your USB and you're going to boot into Linux Mint's Live CD. A Live CD is just a portable version of Linux stored entirely on the USB drive. So keep in mind that you're not done with the installation yet as a Live CD doesn't actually retain any data you put on it and it resets after every reboot. Now as you can see, I'm currently inside of my Linux Mint soon to be installed in the live CD as I called it. Now the installation isn't actually done yet as I mentioned and you need to click this that says install Linux Mint. Double click it as you would anything else. Wait for it to load and then it's going to load this inst installation wizard and it's going to give you a few options. It's going to give you some categories so you know welcome. Choose your language. So just answer the questions as you would any other installation. It's actually not difficult at all. Keyboard layout, you know test things, see if everything's in order. going to ask you about multimedia codecs. Now this is something you can worry about later if you didn't worry about it now and it's important but like it said it's for some video formats and to properly render some uh, <laughs> render some websites so that's something that you can worry about on your own time. Now installation type. This is important because if you don't have a hard drive or an SSD specifically set aside for Linux Mint, then things can get tricky as to how it's going to um, give you these options here. Because you could just as easily say erase disk and install Linux Mint if you know which disks are going to use for Linux Mint. But there can be a third option, which is probably the option you're going to have, and it's going to say install Linux Mint alongside Windows 10. Now, if it says that, and you know that you have a, a Windows installation with a bit of space left over that you want to put Linux Mint alongside, go ahead and click that. But if you're using a disk that is specifically meant for Linux, then press this option. This is the option we're going to go with. Install now, and it's going to ask you what's going to be formatted. Now, pay attention to this, and if you don't understand partition or disk jargon, then this might not be of, um, of, of particular importance to you, but just make sure you at the very least know that you're not formatting any um, any you know special partitions any sensitive data or potentially your actual you know your windows partition because a partition is just a, like a piece of your hard drive so if there's certain partitions in certain crucial places where you know you you have windows for example and you delete those then it's game over for you so you need to make sure you look at this and, and you know vet this review this if everything's good continue And then it's going to take you um, to this little thing and it asks you more questions. So where are you? And I'm in... Now my name. You could put your name as anything, of course. So I'm just going to put Lernix and your computer's name. Now this isn't really all that um, important if you're not doing anything that has to do with like uh, like a shared network um, like file storage or something like that. Now pick a username. Your username when you use commands is what is going to be addressed to you. So your username is your user. You're going to be running commands from the Lernix user. Choose a password. My password is going to be L for Lernix. Now keep in mind, you cannot put blank as your password because when you are typing commands in the terminal and you're going to inevitably, even if it's Linux Mint, which is relatively simple, there are some a few simple commands that you'd want to know. 
When you're typing commands into the terminal, make sure that your password is not a space or blank because you won't be able to put a password on there when you're typing crucial commands that you need super user for. So make sure that you put at least one letter just like I did. Log in automatically or require a password, that's up to you. Now encrypt your home folder, this is something that if you want to make a more hardened installation and you worry about things like that, then like I said, that's up to your discretion. Continue with the installation. And here we are. We're now going through the installation process and it's going to give me some slides and some information about Linux. So at this point, it should be smooth sailing for you. After this is done installing for you, all you have to do is restart your computer and, well, go back into your, um, that boot menu and then choose Linux Mint. Do not, make sure not to choose the USB again. Make sure to choose Linux Mint itself installed on whatever disk you installed it on. And then boot in and, well, you should be good from there. I'll make more videos about how to set up certain things on Linux Mint specifically so you can continue from this video whenever you wish. But as of now, this is how to install Linux Mint on your computer as a complete beginner. Peace out.